Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Miranda Beckman, and I've had the honor of being this month's class supervisor. It is my pleasure to introduce the graduating class of May 2015. From Sonoma, California, we have Nicole Novi and her dog, Jovan. From Greenville, South Carolina, we have Chris Chapman and her dog, Keith. From Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, we have Christy Bingham and her dog, Nitro. From Denver, Pennsylvania, we have Joe Manganello and his dog, Gadget. From Austin, Texas, we have Jesus ba Baeza and his dog, Nike. From Ellsworth, Maine, we have Honey Seekins and her dog, Baltic. And from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, we have Joanne Chatterton and her dog, Selby. <laughs> this month, we also had a few graduates who were here, and then they went home a little early due to their program. So, uh, we, Cutting Eyes, has uh, a few different programs in which we can service our clients with their dogs to suit the needs. So not everyone can come into our residential program for a full 22 days. Sometimes people have work obligations or school obligations, and they can't come in for that entire amount of time, but they can still benefit from the use of a guide dog. This month, um, Caitlin Archer is graduating with her guide dog, Edward, through our action program. Our action program is where the client comes in for the first 10 days, works here on campus, then returns to their home environment with a trainer, and they complete their training in their home area. So this month, uh, Caitlin Archer graduates with Edward um, out in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and they were trained by Jesse DiNapoli, who's one of our uh, action, um, sorry, our support instructors. Guiding Eyes has also partnered up with a guide dog school in Portugal. Um, once a year, two students from the Portuguese guide dog school come over with uh, one of their administrators and they learn to use a guide dog here and then they travel home to Portugal and work their dogs uh, in their lives in Portugal. And it, that team or those two teams are then supported by the Portuguese guide dog school. It's a smaller organization. They're just still in the early phase I would like to turn our program over to the board chair, uh, Wendy Agaletti. Thank you, Miranda. My pleasure to be here today to witness the graduation of these teams. On behalf of the entire board, P class for extraordinary adventures with their new guides. We are extremely grateful to an anonymous donor for sponsoring the training of Guiding Eyes Gadget. This gift is in honor of the donor's friend, Jack Krakowski. I'd like to acknowledge Jessica Robinson of PepsiCo, visiting today with her family. We thank Jessica and her family for her time home socializing our puppies I also want to thank Barbara Keyes for special naming Skylar and Betty Levinson for special naming Saul. About the graduates and every indispensable link in the chain that made this day possible. 
enjoy this very special event. Thank you. Thank you, Wendy. Um, at this point, I'm going to turn it over to Kathy Zabricki. She is our Vice President of Training Programs. Thank you, Miranda, and welcome everyone to this very happy <laughs> It's so wonderful to see so many of you here today, and you are truly extraordinary people who have given an extraordinary, is an extraordinary gift, and we are deeply, deeply grateful for all of you. Guiding Eyes is very fortunate to have a talented team of instructors wholly dedicated to success. And I'd like to thank Woody, Miranda, Mike, Kate. And there are a number of milestones in a guide dog instructor's career. And one of the first milestones is the completion of your first class. So we celebrate today with Mike and Kara because they've done just that. They've completed their very first class. Congratulations. Excellent guidance as they've reached this milestone. You guys have done great, great work. Thank you. And now to the graduates. On behalf of the entire staff of Guiding Eyes for the Blind, congratulations on this wonderful achievement. Making a decision to partner with a guide dog, whether it's your first dog or not, is an act of courage. And it speaks loudly of commitment. Commitment to yourself, commitment to your guide dog, and commitment to your success as a team. You have inspired all of us, and we wish you every continued success. Congratulations. And to everyone here, I'd like to thank you for your many kindnesses, your support, and your generosity, because we simply could not do this without you. And again, we are very, great, very grateful to each and every one of you. So thank you very much. And Miranda, would you please come back to the podium? I'm only going to be here for a short moment because I'm going to turn this right over to our graduate speakers. Um, Jesus, he will be our first graduate speaker. All right, let me see how long he'll stay sitting down. So, like I said, my name is Jesus, and I'm from Texas, Austin. A uh, little bit about myself, this is my first guide dog. Um, and also my biggest responsibility I've had in my life this far. And I didn't know what to expect when coming here to Guiding Eyes. I know we we're going to be walking around a lot, training, pretty much learning what the dog already knows. But what I didn't know is I'd be up at six in the morning every day for about three weeks without any rest. And I haven't had any rest, so yeah. <clears throat> Anywho, so to the trainers, um, you know, you guys basically spent half a year training these dogs, getting them ready for that one moment when you place it be beside us and we grab their harness and after that, we're, we're in control. You guys trained them for about the half a year or so or more. And to you guys, you guys were just training them, teaching them commands, teaching them how to behave. But to me, you guys were training them to do more than that, to take care of us basically for the next several years of our lives without even knowing, knowing who we are, who we were, where we're going, where we come from. That just those, It takes an amazing person to do something like that. To the school, like I said, it was a tough three weeks, but this school really does have everything down to a science, from training the guide dogs in every possible life scenario that I could think of, from almost falling off of a platform at the train station, the dog took care of it. From getting on the bus, the dog knew what to do. 
even walking through a crowded mall with a bunch of kids, which is a blind person's worst enemy. So <clears throat> they, they went and handled it. Even the kitchen staff, they kept us, you know, with our strength up because they knew we were going to be here for hell of three weeks, which is fun. Uh, to my classmates, this is my first guide dog, and you guys are my first guide dog class. And I'll remember it, and I'll maybe 10, 20 years down the line, I'll tell stories just as you guys did to me, give suggestions and advice, which I'll never forget. And if you guys could keep on coming back, guide dog after guide dog, then you know the, all this must be worth it. To Nike, my new guide dog, and my new workout partner. <clears throat> I don't know what lies ahead for you and I, Nike, but I know you won't let your trainer down, or me, but it's going to be fun for the next 10 years. And there's a whole world out there for you and I to sniff, so <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. Um, we are going to turn the program over to Christy Bingham, and she also is going to speak. Good afternoon. How are all of you doing? Hope everybody, hope everyone is having a wonderful afternoon. Nitro is my fourth dog. Each dog has been a new and exciting different ways. Nitro was the latest of handsome in my life, and some men of my life. <laughs> All of my other do guide dogs have been boys. Nitro loves to work, and he always willing to please. He is serious when it matters but he always lets his personality shine through, whether working or on a leash. But above all, he makes me smile. I leave tomorrow. <laughs> I leave tomorrow to return home. But Nitro Leaving tomorrow, we'll embark on our new life together with many adventures ahead of us. This is to you, the puppy raisers. You did a wonderful job. You should be proud of yourselves. Give yourself a pat on the back. Also, to the training staff and to the kennel staff, thank you for your hard work, patience, and time. Collectively, you all have made wonderful guide dogs. I cannot thank you enough. Keep up the good work. Job well done. Thank you.
At this time, I'm going to turn the program over to Maria Lazaro. She's our breeding kennel manager. Thank you, everyone. Hello, how is everybody on this beautiful day? Good. As I look at all these beautiful dogs lying up here, I can honestly say I knew them when they were just a gleam in their daddy's eye. <laughs> and now seeing them all grown up and doing what they were meant to do fills us with so much pride and love for them. So on behalf of the Canine Development Center, I'd like to extend a sincere and heartfelt congratulations to the graduating class of May 2015 and their beautiful guiding eyes. It is truly an honor and a pleasure to share this day with you. The journey of a guiding eyes puppy is a long one. And it doesn't happen without the dedicated staff and generous donors. Our team of over and our team of over 1400 volunteers. These are people who are who do home socialization, our brood stud fosters our early socializers, our home litter care families, puppy sitters, region coordinators, kennel and administrative in Patterson and Yorktown, and tour leaders and ambassadors. And they say it takes a village to raise a child. And finally, I want to say a very special thank you to a very special group of people, our puppy raisers. These people, and you'll, you'll meet some puppies, they take them into their home when they're eight weeks, eight and a half weeks old. They love them, they care for them, they nurture them, they train them, they stay up all night with them, and they love them. And then they give the ultimate gift, they give them up to do this job. So thank you from the bottom of our hearts. While I say it's the hardest job at Guiding Eyes, it's also the most rewarding. Thank you again for all you do. And now I'd like to take a moment to tell everyone who volunteers to stand up. And that includes the people that are home watching this. Please stand up so we can give you a big round of applause. Come on. Don't be shy. Eileen, stand up. Kristen, where are you? I also like to thank um, some very special people at the Canine Development Center the whelping kennel, the breeding kennel, and the home socialization staff who really work hard to give these puppies a special start. They too spend a lot of hours loving them, training them, and taking care of them so they're prepared for their journey. So thank you guys out there. And <laughs> I have one more special thing I have to do to a special person watching. I promised I would send puppy kisses to them. So, mwah, 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 mwah. OK. <laughs> and now for the fun part. Um, I'd like to present our puppy raisers with their certificates and photos. When I call your name, please have one member of your family come up to accept. Cynthia Marvin and Darlene Farley. Monroe Region, Razor of Dual Career Guiding Eyes, Baltic and Stud. Congratulations. Rick and Gail Cohan, Capital Region, Razor of Guiding Eyes, Gadget. Congratulations. The Mercer Family, Main Region, Razor of Guiding Eyes, Jovan. Congratulations. Gina Slonin, Montgomery Region, Razor of Guiding Eyes, Keith. Congratulations. The Martin family, Razor from Virginia Beach, Razors of Guiding Eyes, Nike. And I want you to know they flew in from Hawaii for Nike's graduation. The Randall family, Monroe Region, Razors of Guiding Eyes Nitro. Congratulations. <laughs> Eileen and Terry Matro, Monroe Region, Razors of Guiding Eyes Selby. Congratulations. <laughs> a 
Under action training, we have the Fox family and Vanessa Sinta from Erie, New York, Razors of Guiding Eyes, Edward. <laughs> Congratulations, dear. Home training, Derry Lauren Flesher, Finger Lakes, Andrea Scott, Alexandra Scott, Finger Lakes, Erin Murphy, Sendikar, Finger Lakes, and Madeline Decimo, Finger Lakes, Razor of Guiding Eyes, Darian. <laughs> Under international, we have Nicole Dorsey from Shenandoah, Razor of Guiding Eyes, Skyler, and Audrey Maddie from Monroe, Razor of Guiding Eyes, Saul. Congratulations to everyone. And now comes the fun part. Remember, from small things come great beginnings. So now I'd like to introduce two very special guests. Are they here? The lovely little vixen and the dashing Vaughn. <laughs> They'll be available for potographs in the groom room after graduation. <laughs> and we also at this time like to ask anyone who, if you, if you have family members or friends who would like to volunteer, we love for our Guiding Nice family to grow. Thank you guys. Bye. And I have one last thing to say. It's one of my all-time favorite sayings, and I just love it for graduation. He is your friend, your partner, your defender, your dog. You are his life, his love, his leader. He will be yours, faithful and true, to the last beat of his heart. You owe it to him to be worthy of such devotion. God bless you all and keep you safe. Thank you. Okay. Never gets easier following a puppy. <laughs> but I'm going to do my best. So at this point, I would like to take a moment and, and speak very briefly to my team. Woody, Mike, Kara, Morgan, you guys were an amazing group of instructors to work with. Um, as Kathy mentioned, this is Mike and Kara's first string. And one of the, and then how exciting every stage of class is when it's brand new too. <laughs> Your enthusiasm is contagious and it's wonderful. And hang on to it and stay enthusiastic about the work as long as you can. It's the most wonderful and fabulous job there is on the planet, in my opinion. Um, and I thank you for all of your hard work. What you were a great support to them, Morgan. We were really, literally lost without you on your days off. So to my team, I am so grateful. I've so enjoyed working with you guys. only second to working with this class. My God, you guys were amazing. Every day, this group of folks was ready. They were ready for any challenge, for any activity we were gonna throw at them. They did so well. They gave all of their hearts to their dogs and um, they are all going to be so happy and so successful in the field. I just know it. Um, it has been an honor and a privilege to be part of your journey. And I'm so glad you came here to share this with us um, because it's just been an absolute pleasure to work with each and every one of you. I wish you all the best. I'm so very proud of everything you've done. Thank you for all your patience and all your hard work. So now we can pass out certificates. Congratulations to the May 2015 graduating class, starting with Nicole and Jovan. Congratulations. Chris and Keith, congratulations. Christy and Nitro. Joe and Gadget. Jesus and Nike. Honey and Honey Ball and Ball and, Ball and Joanne and Selby. Um, 
Um, thank you all for joining us. Becky is going to be up in just one moment to talk about uh, some announcements. Um, I just wanted to thank everyone who's come all the way here to celebrate this special afternoon with us and uh, our YouTube audience as well. It is so special to have everybody here celebrating made collectively. So thank you all. Becky? Becky, Becky Barnes-Davidson is our Manager of Consumer Outreach and Graduate Support. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Um, it's it's always great to be at graduation. I don't know if, if you all heard Maria say it, but the one of our puppy raisers um, has moved to Hawaii, and so she gets the award for the farthest distance traveled to come and be at graduation. So. Um, <laughs> I don't know how jet lagged she is. Um, we were trying to convince Guiding Eyes that we would be more than happy to have a region in Hawaii, <laughs> especially in the winter. So far, that hasn't gone over real well. However, we're grateful to every single one of our puppy raisers and volunteers, whether you're from here or anywhere, um, you're here in our hearts. You know, it is the season for graduations, isn't it? And I was thinking about shepherded these pups from preschool through high school, right? And then just about when they're getting to the point of adolescence where you can actually stand to be around them, they go off to college, right? I, I think that's what my parents said about me. Anyway, um, they came off to college and they worked with this fabulous group of instructors and the staff here, the kennel, the veterinary staff. And today they're graduating from college and they're beginning their new partnership and their new life career. Um, and it took all of that to get them to this point. And so to the puppy raisers, um, we graduates, and I'm, I'm a graduate as well, this is my third guide dog. We're, we really understand that the foundation you lay is what guiding, guide dog work is built on. And so, you know, you should be very, very proud today, just like proud parents when their kids graduate from high school. And for you graduates, this is a, a graduate, a new adventure with our new Guiding Eyes dog. Um, and a wonderful adventure it is. They're not the same for all of us. They're as unique as we are. But what we have is a living being by our side with whom we're building this bond of trust that's going to take us through the next several years of our lives. And so um, I especially want to say welcome to the Guiding Eyes family. Oops. Okay. To Jesus, Honey, and um, Joanne, we welcome you to the Guiding Eyes family. We're so glad to have you here and joining your fellow uh, graduates who are retrained. So um, you've worked really hard. You've had your, oh my goodness, what was I thinking moments. And you've had your moments where you felt like you were going to fly. Um, and that's all part of it, and it's all part of life. So um, congratulations. Be proud. Um, be prepared. Be ready. Um, to have a great partnership with your dog and give yourselves a big hand. You deserve it. Okay, that was the closing remarks. Now, just a couple of announcements. Um, Morgan, are you going to be leading a kennel tour? Okay, so Morgan, wave. I think you all saw who Morgan is. Um, we'll be calling everybody together to go and visit the kennels where the 170 dogs will all think you've come to see them personally. Um, it's a wonderful adventure. I believe our gift shop is open outside, uh, outside the, the doors here. There are refreshments up in the dining room. Um, graduates and puppy raisers, you'll have your opportunity to meet as soon as I stop talking. I will do it right almost now. So... Um, Enjoy your afternoon here, enjoy the day, enjoy the warmth and the feeling of excitement and exhilaration and celebration this day brings all of us. So have a great day. Thank you for being here. See you later.